Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today well I have another little project that I'm working on uh, it started last week when I was well out doing some gardening work and I was gonna be cutting the hinge and I have this very lovely um, it's called a park well it's a cheap brand and it's a it's a nice 24 volt system it has been working good for about seven years but now it's not moving anymore. I thought that, well, maybe this is time to get a new device. So I went out and I bought a new Ryobi tool. So I'm just gonna get rid of this and we're gonna go see the Ryobi. It's right outside of you. <laughs> so this is the Ryobi hinge trimmer and it's 18 volts and it's uh, supposed to do about 300 square meters max. I don't have that much but it might be just about the high medium stuff because I'm not very good at remembering to do my hinge I don't have that much hinge but well I do have a little and let's just get that into oh, there is the view and it's a fairly priced one it does not come with a battery but I had the batteries for all my other tools and I'm able to use that battery for the hinge trimmer as well. So let's see what's on the box. It's not much up there, but it's a little bit down here. It's a cordless hinge trimmer. Okay. And there is some little sticker down here telling more info about it. It's the OHT 1855R. It's probably the European version because I saw somewhere where this was the EU something. It's Oops, that's over here. It's uh, Ryobi EU, Ryobi Tools.eu, and we get two years of warranty on this stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure that that is the case in all countries, but on this side there's all kind of good data. First, there's a general commercial about the Ryobi uh, One Plus. They just brag about how cool their tools is with the exchangeable batteries. Then down here we have the rotating handle that um, you can twist around so for better cutting comfort. And then we have over here we have the 55 centimeter laser cut diamond grounded blade for enhanced cutting performance. Awesome! And further down made the blade so that they can actually kind of be used as a saw as well. And then there is some kind of an anti-jamming system awesome and down here it tells about there is a plastic thing that comes with this thing that uh, makes it easier to remove the cuttings so let's go into the box this is boring right oh there's maybe just a little bit of information here it's feather light uh, 2.8 kilograms i'm not sure about that let's get it out of the box i just took my uh, my batteries out here so that we can test it out when i get it out of the box mm -hmm. That way. Okay. Manual. Cardboard. The plastic thing to put on the blade so that you can kind of push the branches. the hinge trimmer cover itself and a protective plastic thing this feels very nice actually I think the blade is about the same length oh it's longer than the old one and uh, it's that's not important really but it's nice let's go closer let's take the manual It would have been nice if they had put that in a zip bag. And let's see, there's a manual here. Multiple languages, starting with English. I'll have a look at that. There is, uh, this is probably where you can get this repaired. If it for some kind of breaks. Yeah, repair shops. 
there's a leaflet of all some of all the different tools that you can get i was looking at this one a rotating wasn't wide enough but that's on the wish list and there is something uh, I have no idea what this is. It's not important, that's for sure. But, but here's the thing. There is really far between these cutting things. There should be 2.2 centimeters, which that's a lot. And it, if it's able to cut those, that big branches, that would be awesome. That would really make my day easier. So. And the handle, it's, it, you have to press two places to get this to go. It's kind of a safety so that you're not able to have your fingers out here at the same time. And well, do these <sighs> just fit fingers? Damn. That doesn't look nice. They, that's really a finger cutter. Why not put in a battery and go test that out? This, it's not much down here to say about this. Yeah, we could just try the handle thing. Turn that around. It doesn't go very well. Oh, there it is. So you can go like, oh, that would be like this. And you can Turn it around, go like that. Hmm. Or you could just go straight up. And there's an anti jam label right there, Ryobi label, and the OnePlus label there. Let's take this one off. Yeah, <laughs> that's really the manual. Hmm. Okay. Let's go cut some hinge. Well, I think you can see how far I got last week before the old hinge trimmer just gave up and broke inside and I need to go down there. It doesn't really take that long if the hinge trimmer is good. I found the smallest battery I have. This is a 1.4 amp hour and it was generously donated to me by my buddy Jim. So I'm gonna put that in. And it looks like that. And it runs. So let's see how much cutting this does. Whoa, I didn't uh, expect that, but I'm through to the end. I'm not an expert on this by no means. It's not straight, but it's cut. And I have to do the top now, but I'm still running on that 1.4 amp hour battery. So that's impressive. You can probably see where I cut it last year, about there. I'm gonna be cutting it there again. I mounted this top thing to see if that does any difference. Uh, did I put it on right? I hope so. Let's see how it works.
Well, now the battery keeps quitting on me, so uh, I more or less did that hinge. That's cool. <laughs> so I've gone and gotten the 2.5 amp hour battery here, and we're gonna put that in. And I can now um, trim it a little bit more, see if I can get it straight ish. Right around here, it looks higher, so I'm gonna try and take some of that off. Okay, I cut the entire hinge on both sides. Uh, I didn't do the other side very well. And the one behind that is the neighbor's hinge. Um, I must have I cut that a little bit too. Uh, not the height of it, but on the other side to get past, get, get through there. But, well, now I just have to um, do a bit of cleaning, so. So what do I think about this hinge trimmer? Well, I'll start by taking out the battery. Um, the old system, my old hinge trimmer here, which uh, the motor is still running fine in and the batteries are great, but apparently the plastic inside was not good enough. And that hinge would take me about two hours and that's because I would have to use this big branch cutter quite a lot. I did not have to use that because of this sawing technique that you could use with this. But um, there is one thing about it, I'm a little bit afraid of it. So um, I would kind of give it five stars out of, well, <laughs> it's dangerous. I'm sure it can cut fingers. And I'm a bit worried about that actually. And now the door opens. It would be so easy to um, cut yourself with this thing. And it has absolutely no mercy. But with that said, that's exactly what you want with the branches. So in that perspective, it's great. You can buy this without the battery. You can also pay a little bit more and get a 1.5 amp hour battery. It looks like. I put the 1.4 amp hours on the charger, but the battery size is the same. I, I really didn't buy the 1.5 amp hour battery because I thought it would be two minutes of cutting, but it was actually pretty well. I think with 1.5 amp hour, I would be able to do that entire hinge and well, after that, both the battery and me might need a little break. If I could go back and do that again, I would get the 1.5 amp hour battery with this. It was about 250 kroners extra. 250, what is that in dollars? $35 maybe, there about. $35 extra for the hinge trimmer with the battery. So I would probably do that just to have the battery. The batteries alone are pretty expensive. I think the cheapest one is about 300 kronas which is 40 dollars or something like that. I highly recommend this. I did the same work that would take me two hours. I did that in a little over half an hour actually. I still have to go clean up. This is how I do it, and everything is <clears throat> kind of picked up here. Oh, it's a little bit clotted now. Okay, so I'm done for today, and it has started raining, so I'm going inside. But the hinge is done, and I've even cleaned. And the cleaning took twice as long as the actual cutting. So that's not the Ryobi's fault. So what do I think about this Ryobi? I think it's marvelous. Um, dangerous but marvelous. I'm gonna be enjoying cutting the hinge. Uh, kind of, you know. Well, you don't enjoy things like that, do you? 
I'm going to be taking this apart and see if it's it's an easy fix or else I'm going to find out something funny to do with the batteries along the way have the three of those good batteries and chargers and all but uh, yeah the Ryobi did really well and I can use the same batteries and they cut awesome so thumbs up for the Ryobi well so that was it for the Ryobi thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and join me over at Google Plus I don't know which way Google Plus is but they went that way so um, join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post photos of what I'm up to I did that yesterday just um, posted a photo told you some awesome shit have a nice day bye bye Thank you.